Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. I feel like I can't say it without going being here. Today I have a really exciting, awesome video, very affordable. I tried out a lot of stuff. I have a new primer, blush, eyeshadow palette, bronzer, mascara. Uh, highlighter it is what I have on my face obviously today I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad and today's post notification shout out goes to Haley Ross Haley thank you so so much for having your post notifications on I love that you're so loyal thank you for all your sweet comments and all your positivity and if you guys want to be my next post notification shout out I'll want to be part of my notifications <laughs> why is that so funny <laughs> I'm delirious right now all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and comment when you are done let's get into the video I'm gonna keep this on until it gives me a headache we'll see how long it lasts let's get started I'm really excited to do this video and by the way new hair I mentioned that in my last video obviously is it weird that I feel like a completely new person with my dark hair but like I love it like I feel like it's like a new and improved me new you new me enough of the chit chat let's get started I do have my eyebrows done and also I just have a moisturizer on my face so we are gonna start out with the eyes so we are messing with this today I feel like this is gonna be really distracting this is the Maybelline the matte bar and it is just a bunch of matte shadows I'm really excited to try this out because this just looks bomb it kind of looks like the naked heat palette and also the naked mattes palette put together and if they have a good formula I'm gonna be pretty happy about that this might look super basic to a lot of you guys and the reason why it's because it is it is basic but at this point everything has been done all the colors so if this is a good go-to basics neutral palette with some warm tones and its drugstore I'm all about it so I'm gonna quickly prime my eyes with some concealer um this is not gonna be like a tutorial so I'm kind of gonna go quickly through it just because we have so many first impressions I'm gonna go in with the shade groundbreaker and I'm with a fluffy brush I'm just gonna put that all over my lid Now with a smaller, more precise brush, I am gonna take the shade 1915 and put it in the inner and outer corner to create a soft halo eye. And with my finger, I'm gonna take the shade Brick House and put that in the middle of the halo eye. And I'm gonna go back into the shade 1915 and just blend it out. And lastly, I'm gonna take the shade Brick House again and just highlight under my brow bone. My go-to look with a bunch of warm matte shades, which is my go-to look with my Naked Heat palette, is to do like a really soft halo eye. Um, I didn't do it super dramatic on purpose, I just like this kind of look. And let me show you guys what the palette looks like with the kickback. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but I mean, there wasn't like a huge, huge amount, but there also wasn't like a little bit. I actually like this palette. I definitely think it's one of the better ones at the drugstore. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this as a staple the like go-to drugstore palette if you like the naked heat and you just want something similar but more affordable i really like this i think it's pretty good i give it about like an 8 out of 10. so first let's prime i do have a very exciting brand new primer to try out with you guys I've been dying to try this primer and I'm sure a lot of you guys have too it's been out of stock so I finally I put like notifications so that whenever it was back in stock I could snatch it up for you guys so this is the elf poreless putty primer people have been saying that it's like a dupe for the what is it called come on help me out guys what's that brand called Tatcha oh my god the Tatcha silk canvas primer which is I believe it's like $50 and I think it has like the same amount of product if not less than this so let's try it out I have never tried that primer I personally don't think it's worth paying that much for a primer this is what it looks like and let's look what's inside and here you go it looks like a balm 
Doesn't smell like anything. So let's read the claims really quickly. It says this is the perfecting putty primer that smooths the skin and preps with squalene, squalene to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear. The velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. It does to apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to application. Allow it to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. Y'all wanna see this? This is gonna be kind of satisfying. Woo! Rub that between my fingers. Oh, I should do like half of the face first. Well, it says to do an even amount. I feel like this is enough for my whole face. I am pressing a little bit and also smoothing it. I'm also just gonna put it on my nose and between my brows, and then I'll compare it to the other side of my face. It feels very moisturizing. So my skin looks very luminous. It does look blurred out, especially right here. Smoother and moisturized. I definitely feel like it helped my texture out a little bit too. It definitely filled in my pores like a reasonable amount. Definitely smoothed out my skin and it looks a lot more moisturized. So obviously with primers, you kind of have to see how they sit on the skin and like also with the foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this much more on the other side of my face, let it dry, and then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite foundations to see if it looks any better. Okay, now that it's dried, it's not as like, I mean, it was never greasy, but it's a little bit drier and it feels really tacky. So I will be putting on a foundation that I love because I don't really like to test out new primers and foundations all at once. I feel like that's a little bit deceiving. With that being said, I will be putting on one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade M80. I definitely wanted to show you guys a new sponge that we're testing out. This is the Wet n Wild Makeup Sponge, and this is what it looks like. This is the packaging for it. It is already wet, so this is as big as it's gonna get, and it does have a flat side and a pointed side, of course, and then it's kind of, I mean, it looks exactly like a beauty blender. And I have to say, it's really, really soft. You guys know I love my e.l.f. sponge, which is this one, which is dirty, but this one feels more like a beauty blender, and this Wet n Wild one looks, it feels softer than a beauty blender. So it really is up to you. I know some people don't like sponges too, too soft, and some do. Okay, so we're blended out. I have to say, I really do like this. This reminds me so much. Again, my sponges are dirty. I need to clean them all, but I do wash them whenever I apply my makeup on them. This is my dirty ass little um, Ofra sponge, and I love this because it's the softest sponge that I've ever felt, and I have to say this is just as soft. I'm gonna say it. I think these are the best drugstore sponges I've ever tried. My skin looks really, really good. I mean, I do love this foundation, but I definitely feel like the primer made a difference. My skin just looks really nice and smooth, hydrated and not patchy at all. So I'm really liking everything so far. So I don't have uh, new concealers to try out as first impressions. I do have new concealers that I've already tried out. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer and then the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I do have a full video comparing both and demoing them. I will leave it up here if you're interested. So I will be using these um, I love them, but if you want to see a more in-depth review of why I love them so much, definitely go watch that video. Okay, so this is a concealer. Y'all see how like it really highlights and it's like full coverage. Um, I have to say, I really like this sponge. And there's, since there's a flat side, it's like whenever you get to the point, you can like really pinch it easily and get like right in this inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes and contour and we'll come right back and I have bronzer, blush, highlight, and then mascara to try out. I did set my under eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I contoured with this contour palette from Shop Miss A AOA $6 contour powder. I love it. So for bronzers, I have a new Maybelline bronzer and I actually dropped it so I 
broke it, but it's okay. So this is the Maybelline City Bronzer, Bronzer and Contour Powder, and I got the shade 300 because it was like the most warm tone and I do love a warm tone bronzer. So I'm gonna go in really lightly because when it broke, I noticed how like dusty it is and I feel like it's gonna be very pigmented. So let's just try this out. Yeah, this is with a really light hand, like light hand and a light brush. I actually really like this. It is a matte bronzer, like completely matte. This is what it looks like. Very warm tone, like I said. But they do have other shades. But I actually like it. It looks really pretty. It's not patchy. And like I said, it's super pigmented, so you definitely have to go in with a light hand. But I like it. I like the shade that I picked. For blush, I have a very exciting blush. This is the new e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. So, primer, blush. They also had bronzers, but they looked really light. Claims are that it's a long-wearing blush infused with a lock-on primer powder to ensure a full day, perfectly placed blush. So pretty much, you know, it's really marketed to say that it's like gonna last all day because it has primer in there. It's supposed to be easy to blend, perfectly pigmented for ease of application, and it grips to your cheeks like second skin. So I ended up getting the shade Always Rosy. This is just like my go-to shades. So this is what it looks like, just the regular e.l.f. packaging. And here is the shade. This is it right here above the bronzer. So this is my go-to blush brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06. It's just super, super like fluffy and I love it because I feel like it always puts like the perfect amount of blush. I also put it like over my bronzer and then whatever it's left, I put on my nose and on the sides of my nose to make it all blend seamlessly. That looks really pretty. That was like the quickest blush application that I've had in a long time. And I really like the color. Like I said, it's very neutral. You could definitely pair it with a cool tone or a warm tone look. I really like this. Okay, so before I do highlight, I definitely want to finish up the eye look so we can test out the mascara. So quickly, I'm just going to take the crease shades that I put on my crease, and I'm going to blow it out under my lash line, and then I'm going to take the little fuchsia shade called 1915, and then the darker red tone, which is called Flat Iron, and I'm just going to really define under the eyes. So for the mascara, I do have another Maybelline product, and this is the new mascara. This is the Maybelline Snapscara, and it is in the shade Pitch Black. Easy on, easy off, which is their first pigmented mascara with zero waxes. Richly pigmented formula for a smooth, clump-free volume and pure color intensity. Lasts all day, easy glide brush for effortless application and removes easily. I'm always looking for a mascara that I can take off a lot easier, so that is really cute packaging. And I actually, whoa, I've never seen a mascara with a clear package. I'm pretty sure this black is the actual mascara. So this is what the applicator looks like. It is very curved, which I'm assuming will help a lot with curling. Just really quickly, I do have an eyelash perm. So obviously my lashes are gonna look very curled. Just keep in mind that I do have a perm, but I can always tell if a mascara is good or not, regardless if I have a perm or not. I just won't be able to tell you how good it curls because mine are already curled. I always like to do two coats of mascara. So I'm gonna do one eye only, and then we can see like the before and after. I need some music for this. This might take a while. Okay, so this is what my lashes look like. Keep in mind that I only put two coats on my top lashes. I don't really go into ham on my bottom lashes. I don't think it really volumized. I think it's like, it's an okay formula for um, definitely lengthening and 
volumizing a little bit while not being clumpy but I guess you do need a little bit of clump for more like volume per se. So if you're looking for a super volumizing mascara, I don't think this one's for you. But if you're more into like a little bit more natural looking mascara, a little bit more lengthening with no clumps, then this is a good one. The formula is really wet. It actually got all over my eyeshadow. So just letting you guys know it is a very wet formula. Do I hate it? No. Do I love it? No. By the way, it does claim that it's really easy to take off. So I will put down in the comments below once I wash my makeup um, if it was like a lot easier to take off. So I believe the last new product that I have for you guys is a highlighter. And again, this is from the new e.l.f. line. This is the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter and I did get it in the shade 24K Gold. This claims that you will get a multi-dimensional high luster glow with this metallic powder highlighter. It's a buttery soft high shimmer formula that glides on the skin for the ultimate highlight. The imprint on this is really, really beautiful. Oh no! This does not feel buttery at all. This actually feels super dry. It is a really beautiful looking shade though. Here at the bottom is the swatch. So going in with my Morphe 501 M501, I'm just gonna see how this goes. Okay, so you definitely need two layers to get like a decent amount. See how it's really, really natural? It's like right up here, that's one layer. So I'll put two up here. Well, that was disappointing. I mean, it does look pretty on the skin, but it does look pretty powdery. Obviously with some setting spray, we could probably fix that. Um, it's not a bad highlight, but I just feel like there's so many better ones at the drugstore. I definitely think that their old formula is better. This one is just creamier and softer. It does look really natural at first, but you can build it up. This one you can also build up. It's just a lot more powdery. So I don't know. That was very disappointing. It's just, it's really rough. So, mm, you know what? I'm going to take this swatch put it in my inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, put a lip color on, and I'll be right back for some final thoughts. Okay guys, so this is the final result. If you're wondering, I do have my lip liner in the shade Squad on my lips, and I put the Joa Water Matte Liquid Lipstick in peanut butter, and I like to mix it. It makes a really pretty nude. Let's talk. I think my favorite product today was probably the primer. I really think that my skin, the e.l.f. primer, looks really, really nice. I will keep trying this out, but I think it looks really nice. Again, this sponge is really, really nice if you like super, super soft sponges. I think that this eyeshadow palette was actually really nice for mattes for the drugstore. So I'm actually a really big fan of this. I will put this in my makeup bag. I honestly liked everything because this blush was really nice, the bronzer was really nice. I think the only thing that was a little bit disappointing was the mascara just because it didn't give me the volume that I wanted and definitely the highlighter. I think it looks beautiful but I think you can get better highlighters at the drugstore so I don't want to recommend something that I don't think is the best you can get for your money. Like yeah it looks cute but you could do better. <laughs> you can do better. Yeah, I believe that is all I have to say for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. As always, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.